Hi, I'm here with Elmo, one of our friends from Sesame Street. Elmo's probably best known for his voice and his laugh, especially from the Tickle Me Elmo toy back in the 90s. Elmo loves to spread joy and laughter to children and is still one of the most popular characters on Sesame Street. But one of the things that I love about Elmo is that he also takes people's feelings seriously. I was recently this week scanning through various clips of Sesame Street and came across one with Elmo and Grover. And Grover was trying to learn how to roller skate and he was having a really tough time. But Elmo reminded Grover that for all of us, when we are learning to do something new, it does not come easily at first usually. It takes time and patience and practice. But if, the, if we stick with it, oftentimes we get better at it and it gets easier. And Grover took those words to heart and so he decided to not give up, but to keep trying. And I love that Elmo didn't just dismiss his feelings or tell him that he needed to just get over it, but he took Grover seriously and gave him a word of encouragement. Our scripture for this Sunday is from Philippians chapter four. And in it, the Apostle Paul is telling the Philippians, rejoice always, and again, I say rejoice. I think those words can sound kind of flippant if we look at them out of context. But on Sunday, we're gonna take a closer look at what was happening in Paul's life, what was happening with the Philippians, and we're gonna see that they weren't living in some sort of Christian utopia where everybody was getting along and everything was good. They were facing their own problems. And still, Paul encouraged them to rejoice, to find joy. I hope you can join us Sunday as we take a closer look at these words of scripture, as we take a closer look at our lives and our world, and we take seriously the hurt and pain around us but also look for the ways that we can find and create joy. Elmo and I hope to see you on Sunday.